for sure. Not all squares are rectangles, but all rectangles are squares. Indeed. Or or the opposite of that, whatever. Anyways, you. oh my god. It's the most pseudo-intellectual thing I could have come up with in terms of the stats. <laughs> but it was correct, and that was the important thing. I was right. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> Alright, folks. Here we are. This is Outboxer. You're probably not familiar with it if you don't watch Pro League. If you don't watch Pro League, watch Pro League. To the southeast position, in the blue trunks, the man when it comes to Pro League. He is tearing it up over there. In the blue trunks playing Terran, tied two for two. He is KT Rolster's Flash. And his opponent in the top left. Showing some amazing play in these previous games. It is CJ Entis Hero. He's playing some great games. He also plays some great games in Pro League, of course. Although round three, a bit rough for him. But I think, yeah, actually Flash and Hero both played. It was either last night or the night before, and they both won. So congratulations yep. to them. That's right. And uh, Byung played last night as well. He did. And Azest played also, I think. Or it didn't get to his match. I can't quite remember. I didn't, I didn't get to see it all quite yet. But, My uh, hush pick paid off. He won. He did oh, win. Sick. Yeah, so Look I'm getting points for him. Total Biscuit, the ultimate talent scout. There it is. I see Hush's future. <laughs> there are many points well, there. Uh, well, I don't know about that. He's. I think he's. He's paid for the cost that he was in Fantasy Pro League, which was like mm. one. So. That works for me. You know, I picked Hack last season for one point, and I thought, this is it. This is the bargain I've been looking for. They never sent him out. That's rough. Hack is a very good player, too. That's too bad. Yep. Mm. He is. He is. It, I mean, he's a good pick at one point, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, he's he's put on some pretty insane games in Code A this last season. Yeah, totally. Uh, Hack is a really, really solid Terran player, and unfortunately, he happens to be on Star Tail, which happens to be allied with Incredible Miracle and Team Liquid, and has a massive roster, so he doesn't get sent out that much. So, yeah. So that works. What do you uh, do? You read anything into the the kind of slightly odd gateway positioning here? I, I think this is, this is just Sim City here from Hero. Yeah, I think he's just trying to sim city it a little bit, like make sure that it's hard for that Reaper or any possible Reapers that may come to get in and really do any damage. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's just it's kind of smart to play like that. It's pretty cool. He always has great sim cities. Hero does. Yeah, he does really really well designed flash. He loves that early engineering bay, even when he happens to put it in his opponent's natural. He's going for that full on block here. Yeah, always going for these quick double eBay openers, although one of them normally has to get canceled while the other one does the upgrades. Yep. Probably for the best that way, though. Uh, this will delay the expansion quite a bit. Yeah, that's a lot of stats. I mean, it pretty much forced the Zealot out early as well, which you don't generally want, and especially because there's an our Reaper to follow that one up. The Mothership Call is coming over to help that Reaper. The Reaper, uh, so not help the Reaper, that would be a bit weird to trade a Mothership Core. It helped the Zealot, <laughs> and it's going to drive that away, but uh, Outboxer has a decent amount of space for a Reaper to get into the main as well, so you got to watch out for that. Yeah, well, uh, it looks like that Reaper not going to be able to do too much, especially since a Stalker is about to pop out. And again, this map, I think almost especially you need to make sure you scout well on. This is a map that we have seen a lot of Blink All-Ins on, yep. and definitely could be a strat that's being looked at by Hero, but actually... He starts a century. Maybe he's going to stay with his normal Robo-type play, which has been working out so well for him. It has been working out pretty well for him, hasn't it? It's hard to argue with mm. his Robo-play up to this point. Hero has put points right back on the board in a really solid way, and anyone that thought he was going to get rattled by those two early losses is, of course, completely mistaken. Hero doesn't get rattled. That's right. Hero is just a complete rock. This guy is always putting out his absolutely best games, and we've seen that so much throughout this tournament, which, once again, I know I've said it a few times, but seeing these guys play their absolute best uh, in an online cup like this against each other is so refreshing and so awesome. I, I, You have spoiled us all, Sandisk and Total Biscuit. It, I... I didn't even know what to expect going into this, because of course we know that every player that was invited here was, is an absolute consummate professional in every way. But because top Casper players don't play online cups because they don't exist in Korea, like the last actual Korean online cup that existed, I believe, was ESV Weekly, which is actually, of course, where Tasia got his start. Mm. That's that's very true. I remember watching that every single time I possibly could. It was a great tournament indeed, but uh. 
Nowadays, yeah, I guess I, I don't know of any. If there they are, they're well hidden. <laughs> I mean, occasionally I see like a King of the Hill on like a commentator stream or something, but yeah. that doesn't get players like this. No, no, it generally doesn't. You know, you'll get you'll get some of the B teamers and some of the guys that are willing to play. And there's plenty of Koreans that will play in online events. But they, they won't necessarily be the top tier. And they'll end up playing on, in events where they have to be on the North American server or worse, on the European server. Playing at 3 a.m. I think this is the big difference, right? Because these guys are getting to play at a really comfortable time on their own server. And everything's kind of being catered to them specifically. And as a result, the game quality has been ridiculous. Yeah, that's that's really the key right there. Uh, you know, I've, I've done that before in the past where you have to wake up in the middle of the night to play a match on a server with lag. You're never going to get as good of games. And no. uh, this this tournament is really, I guess, the, the milestone by which future online tournaments will always be measured. I hope so. I certainly hope so. I also like that there's a, just a quick joke in the chat. Before we talk about the builds, which we're going to have to quite shortly, folks. That's going to have to happen. <laughs> but a great joke in the chat there. And someone asked, why is it called SimCity? And someone says, it's called SimCity because you c just can't get into it. Which is a fantastic <laughs> joke if you ever played the the latest Sim City, which was just a mess. Mm. Uh, oh, <laughs> I did like Sim City back in the day. Yeah, I played the the more recent ones. The only Sim City I play nowadays looks pretty much like what Hero is doing, but not as beautiful. Mm. It, and it is a, it is a beautifully designed base. Absolutely fantastic. It is. It's full of traps and triggers. It is a fortress. Now, let's talk about the builds. As the Marines mm. are pushing forward, they're not... I mean, they shouldn't, in theory, get anything done here. There's far too much here for Hero. He should be able to pull that back, push that back immediately. Yeah, he can't even force a Nexus Cannon there. No, you no. saw with that Stim Marine, there was just too much. The force fields would have ripped him apart. Yeah. So, gonna turn around, but worth the poke at least, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you know, so. he, He's taken a nice quick third base. None yet for Hero, but it looks like he's going to take a quick third as well with a double Forge, Blink, and Colossus tech. So both these guys playing quite greedily. Cool. That's what I like to see. We're going to see some really, really great TVP here by the looks of it. Armory coming down, and of course only single engineering bay, but that will allow plus two to begin almost immediately. As you pointed out, Flash greedily managed to get that third base. He got it up, and it's not a big army here from... It's a very quick Colossus, certainly, but there's not really much else around it. So it's not a huge threat at the moment, but it's great on the defense. It's All it's saying mm -hmm. to Flash at the moment is, you're not coming in. In, except that that side of the map is where you're going to be for the moment. Yeah, that's that's very true. And Flash right now flying up with a couple medevacs, seeing if he can get some damage done. So far, they haven't been spotted. Oh, but, they got oh, seen. Looks like a probe. We'll, sh we'll see him. Yep, and it'll get shot for its trouble there. So uh, you want to be careful. But uh, he's going to get. Oh, that didn't get cancelled either. So there's a nice little pickup. Kills the uh, building pilot, and now he's just going to get out. But it's a quite a small army that's covering all these three bases here for Hero. Uh, the last thing you want, of course, is your Colossi to be isolated and killed off by a highly mobile force. Yeah, that would be the absolute worst thing. You really, if he's going to kill your Colossi, make him make the Vikings to do it. Yeah. If you start losing Colossi to, like, stimmed in marauders and whatnot, that's when you really know you're in trouble. That's what every Terran's dream is, to catch Colossi like that and not have to make so many Vikings so that they can make more medevacs. Yeah, certainly true. And so far, it doesn't look like Flash really wants to be aggressive at all. He's getting his Ghost Academy quite early, which is great, because the charge look upgrade just started. It's like, he knows how this game is going to play out. Both sides are on three bases. They're both going to poke and prod to see if they can find holes in their opponent's defenses, but likely the fight is going to happen at 200-200, and he needs to be ready for those transitions. Yeah, it, that is looking very likely here. I'm not... I'm not thinking that we're going to see an SCV pull this game. You know, uh, some games it really looks like it. And, I mean, there still could be. He's making a lot of Vikings. His ghosts are about to pop out. And SCV pulls are very strong. But Hero got this third base up rather quickly, which means he's going to have a lot more units than you would be used to if you try something like that. So 200-200 sounds about right. Yeah. I'd, I also wish people would stop pulling SCVs. Like, in this tournament in particular, has it ever worked? Like, it hasn't, has it? Like, not once. That's a good point. I'm not sure that it has. Yeah, yeah. it's it's definitely not been as efficient as we've seen in the past. There's definitely been uh, periods of time where SCV pulls kill everything. But, oh my god, Flash is doing it anyways. Oh not my. a full SCV pull, though. Just just one of his bases. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's still a decent number, certainly. The, mm -hmm. And, oh, 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 no, no, no. Hero's army is kind of split up here. 
Uh, this is a bit dicey. It can get back pretty quickly, of course. Those are Blink Stalkers. SCVs are off the line. He must have seen them. SCVs will be at the front. Sentry count, only three, and of course an open area. Th could this be the time when the SCV pull actually works, or at least does enough damage? Photon overcharge has been put into play. That Nexus will last about three seconds. The Mothership Core goes down. The SCVs going into the fight, and the Nexus being focused down in the process, and does Flash just leave now? Or does he want to keep going? I think he micros at least a little bit here, has to run away through that time warp, but now does turn around these stalkers moving forward, picking off quite a few of those, while his Vikings try to take out these Colossi, but that is a lot of Colossi fire! It is a lot of Colossus fire! It's, did it not work again? I, or did it? We don't know. I mean, how much damage was really done? The, the, I love this, this blink follow-up here by Hero, just knowing he can pick some stuff up. In the meantime, he somehow attacked the third base with a zealot run by. Not a big one, but big enough. And they're even coming in to try and intercept the uh, army as it pulls back. So while the third base did go down for Hero, the third base was forced to lift for Flash. And Hero now has a big supply lead in terms of army. Yeah, he certainly does. His army definitely looking better. Flash still has a good economy, though. Oh, oh having to pull his SCVs for That's so brutal. Right now. There's no answer yeah. to the Colossus. There's no answer. It's... Stop pulling SCVs! Please stop pulling SCVs! But the flank comes in, he gets one Colossus. It was good, but it wasn't good enough. And Flash looks like he's gonna lose again as a result of an SCV pull. Yeah, it looks like this just did not end up working out for him. Hero has too many units here. And Flash with half the supply pulling the rest of his SCVs oh, certainly will have to GG shortly. This is not something that works. Please, please stop. GG, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in this series, Hero takes the lead and brings it to match point. And I just question the decision to even do that. Mm, you know, at first it was looking brilliant. It was he looking just, all right, killed yeah. killed Nexus in a matter of seconds. He didn't even lose many SCVs. Uh... But then he turned around and fought. You know, he was trying to run away through a time warp. It kind of slowed him down, allowed Hero to start pressuring the army. But when he turned around, he lost everything, and Hero just chased him all the way home. Maybe if he had done the SCV pull and gotten out a little bit faster, maybe if he didn't turn around and fight. But against Blink Stalkers, do you have a choice? You, well, you don't really, do you? Unless you have a really big mm -hmm. Marauder count, so that that forward aggressive Blink to pick off Stragglers is actually too risky to do. But... It didn't seem like he had that, and the engagement didn't go brilliantly. The Colossus didn't die, I think, which maybe was the key factor. He went yeah. in there, it's like, well, okay, great, you got SCVs to attack the Colossus shots for like five seconds, but how are you killing the Colossus? And the answer was, he wasn't. <laughs> he killed like one he, uh, in that fight. I'm mm. just actually watching it on the delay right now, which is actually kind of handy, I should probably do that more often. But yeah, he, he lost like one Colossus, and the fight was just great for Hero. So, yeah, well, the, you got to be able to kill the Colossus off if you're actually going to fight. The longer the Colossus are alive, the more damage they do. It's just like, it's almost exponential how much damage they can do as they stay alive throughout the battle with all that splash. So, really uh, kind of a rough fight there at the end of the day, but still another good game between these two. Yep, and we're back on merry-go-round. Interesting. Good pick. Uh, that's, that's good mm. for Flash. It admittedly did lose on that before, but that surely can't he happen did, twice, but, right? You know, if these guys play this map a hundred times, Flash is going to be the one with the winning record for sure. You know, it's hmm. it's a good choice. And since he lost that last one, wouldn't be surprised he takes this one now. He, he kind of has an idea of what Hero wants to do. Yeah, I think so. I think so. But Hero takes the lead for the first time in the series, and of course, Flash Hype Train is getting dangerously close to coming off the rails, folks. So, can he do it? He's not managed to do it at any point during his StarCraft II career. He's fell short so many times. Can this be the one time he was looking so good? So good, but now, I mean, he basically just, like, he lost two games due to SCV pulls, right? Yeah, that was that was a bit rough, man. Uh, the SCV pulls didn't quite work out for him. Hero is really good against those. He knows just how to do it. He lets his third die. He gets into a better position, uses a nice time warp, and... That's all she wrote for the SCV poll. <laughs> the third is a trap. 
It always is when it comes <laughs> to the Protoss, man. Don't. Like, they want you to kill it, seriously, because then they kill you. But this is the man who is one game away from the Shoutcraft Invitational Championship. He is one game away. He's clearly got what it takes. Can he take it all away? To the northwest position in the blue trunks playing Protoss. He is CJ Enter's hero. And his opponent down at six o'clock on merry-go-round. He has to win now and bring it to game seven or he is out. It is KT Rolster Flash. Of course, if Hero wins this, that will be four in a row. That would be an excellent, excellent piece of comeback mm. here for Hero. I, think, I mean, that's the second time he's pulled it in this tournament. <laughs> that's true. He, he was in a pretty dire shape against Zest and came back. And, yeah. you know, Flash starting up 2-0. If Hero just comes right back and wins from there, that's pretty convincing. But, mm. you know, again, this map is a tough one for PBT, as I'm sure everyone knows and everyone's heard. And anyone who's played uh, agrees with that. So, um, you know, I'm thinking... I'm thinking Flash can take this, and we can have that dream scenario of a Game 7. Yeah, I would definitely hope to see a Game 7. Do Do you feel like... It almost feels like with these SCV polls... I know it's a calculated risk, and it's kind of like we've got to kill the Protoss before he gets 3-3 and do all, does mm -hmm. all sorts of stuff like that, but I mean, it's not like Flash can't play late-game macro TVP. He can. Yeah. He's proven it already. I think it's... I think it's just the fact that uh, High Templars are so good in like extremely long games. You just have Storm Flanks coming in everywhere. It gets kind yeah. of volatile in that way that, you know, you miss two High Templars that come in behind you during one battle, and you can just lose the game that you've played brilliantly during and were winning until that moment. So, yeah. uh, you know, I think because of that, Terrans are like, all right, I hit my macro stride, I get an, an advantage in supply. If I pull those SCVs, that exacerbates my advantage and supply for my attack, and I can take it. <gasps> oh my god. That oh was my god. so risky by Flash, and Hero just surrounds the Reaper and kills it. Is he tilting? Flash never loses his early Reaper like that. Never. No, I've never seen that happen. I, I can't believe he dived into that mineral light. He's building another Reaper and a Marine from there. Like, he's having to replace his Reaper. That's, that's kind of expensive, you know? Yeah. That's not something you want to be spending gas, on right yeah. now. In fact, he would already have his plus one started if it wasn't for having to build that second Reaper. Yeah, I mean, that messes his build order up completely because he built that early engineering bay and can't do anything with it. Yeah, and there it goes. I mean, I guess it is more important to get the Reaper out and actually see what your opponent's doing, but still, that's that's very unflashy. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. It's very it? dark. It has nothing to do with the way Flash plays, you know? He never loses that Reaper so early. No, and this this harass is annoying as well. There's now, of course, enough Marines to fend it off. And Flash, of course, microed against so it, didn't lose anything. But, yeah, that is not... That is not common at all. I mean, it was great reaction times by here, of course, to be able to pull the SCVs and get, uh, pull the probes and get this around. And I'm almost convinced that was a deliberate bait by Hero. But Hero couldn't have possibly imagined that Flash would dive the mineral line like that. Yeah, no, and generally that's not the case. Maybe he looked away for a second. I'm not that's possible. I'm not sure how that happened, but uh, hopefully he can keep calm. You know, this guy has won so many championships back in StarCraft 1 that I'm sure he can look at that and be like, okay, I made a mistake. I'm just going to tighten up, play my game, and uh, see how it goes. Two base Colossus coming in right here. That is an early, early robo. Six minutes 41 to start the robotics bay here. And Flash has not seen it yet. And he might get an opportunity to. Nope. Not going to happen. Not quite yet. We do have that immortal make in Total Biscuit. Are mm. we going to see a couple of mortals? I do believe so, since he's chrono boosting it out. And Same that last time, right? Yeah, will it get scouted uh, as quickly this time? Because Flash did a nice poke before and saw what was going on. Yeah, but Flash ended up losing that game to that build. That's so true. I think Hero being one game up and that Reaper is going to unnecessarily die. It could have at least dived in there. It was unfortunately stationary at the bottom of the ramp. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much now, but mm -hmm. yeah, that, was a, that was a bit strange. And I suppose Hero's attitude is right. I'm one map up. This worked the last time. Let's do it again. Well, uh, he's he's doing it, but a little bit different here. He's actually chrono boosting that first Colossus. He's only made one Immortal. It looks like he wants to do this push a lot quicker. 
Mm. He'll probably spend most of his gas right now on getting out two Colossus, I believe. Yeah. Uh, and just as many gateway units as he can muster. Yep, and that would be pretty powerful. Flash has just finished his star port and is now going to start producing most likely medivacs initially. And I wonder how many Colossus is going to go with. Is is two enough, you think, with this push? Mm, yeah, you know, this one's super fast. Uh, I don't know for a fact that he'll break Flash, but the two Colossus timing push definitely does exist. And it just... It's supposed to hit, and there's just no Vikings. So it's like, yeah, I only have two Colossus, but if I had spent time to get the third, you might have some anti-Colossus attack. Hmm. Interesting. All right, well, Flash has pretty much no map control. He does see the Immortal moving out, though, which is obviously a tell. You wouldn't you wouldn't want to wander around with an Immortal <laughs> unless you plan on doing something with that. He probably sees the Observer moving around to keep an eye on things as well. Another Marine heads out. Be oh, barely misses the warp in it. We'll see them moving, though. Okay, so that's kind of revealed. He, I think he knows what's up now, and he immediately mm -hmm. pulls back his drop, of course. He's like, nope, nope, this is not a good idea right now. And he establishes three more bunkers. Will they be up in time, though? Extended Thermal Lance is about to be done. Yeah, that's right. His second Colossus is almost down there as well. He is adding a couple forges in case this goes wrong. And uh, it looks like Flash has a pretty solid defense so far. I don't moment. know that Hero's going to be able to break that. Mm, I, I love the positioning of the Immortal. It's tanking all those Marauder shots. We're going to have to actually see some good focus fire coming in here. But so far, this has done nothing. And these bunkers are about to finish. So Flash is actually fine right now. And like you said, the transition's coming in behind it. I think the, if there was a window of opportunity, it has been missed. And Hero is not going to be able to make this work. Yeah, you know what? He took the risk, and some things it did do is force some extra bunkers, lost mining time, and that double medevac drop that was moving out, that had to go home. So yeah. he's definitely controlling the pacing of the game, but this isn't like the absolute cleanest third base in Double Forge. He's, uh, he's a bit behind as far as upgrades go, that's for sure. Yeah. And Flash is so far it recovered quite nicely. It, if Flash was on tilt, he's definitely not shown it now. You know, he he held that very calmly, and now of course he's denied the proxy pylon, and he's got another drop heading over to the top here. So he's showing a drop to Hero, saying, "Hey, look, I've got a medevac here," but he actually also has a medevac here. That's one of the nightmares of Merry Go Round. There's just there's these big entrances by air into the bases. Yeah, that's, that is very true. There's a lot of surface area to actually drop on, despite being pretty hard to get out through the back. Now, he does have this drop coming into the main base. Not a lot of units up there, but the Mothership core is coming to help out. Yep, a couple of... Yeah, we'll, we'll see a couple of probes go down. I'm a bit worried for this medevac. Blink is done. The limited air spaces. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Oh my god, that could have been brutal if that had happened, but thankfully it didn't. And in the meantime, also a medevac attempted to go in here, but that cannon's in the same place, man. In fact, wasn't that also the place Zest put his cannon on this map? I think it was. I think it was, actually, yeah. Seems like that's a good place to put cannons. I, I guess I'll uh, start putting my cannon there. Yeah, <laughs> All absolutely. Right. Uh, right now, Flash has landed his third command center, sending SCVs as well, about the same time as Heroes. So, despite the fact he did have that quicker third command center all finished uh still not as quick mining it as he would have liked mm -hmm. but he is taking a bit of a supply lead here and continuing to macro aggressively yep and that that does tend to happen uh, at this kind of point for terran you don't get a massive gateway explosion and it, it's it's just like there's the more consistent kind of ramp up for terran and then protoss kind of has these bursts of supply so it's not unusual for Terran to be slightly ahead at this point, but they may be behind in terms of power units. I mean, this is about to be the fifth Colossus out here for Hero. And upgrades are... I mean, they've caught up. It's 1-1 one, one versus 1-1 one, one here. Yeah, that's uh, that's quite important. But we do have that plus two finishing up for Flash pretty soon. But okay. after that, it will be followed by 2-2 two, two for Protoss. So kind uh -huh. of going back and forth on these upgrades. Yep. And it looks like uh, Hero going to start moving out a little bit using these Blink Stalkers and... Trying to figure out what's going on, but it is oh, hello. an SCV full total oh, biscuit. He's doing it again? and I, I can't believe he's doing it again, especially against five Colossus. Will it work? Uh, there's EMPs in this this time, and there's a decent number of Vikings. There's still five Colossus. 
Can this work? Can Flash actually make it work? The EMP goes down. The Mothership Core is dead. So there's no photo of charge whatsoever. Colossus being focused down here as well. More EMPs. But there's still four Colossus at the back. Another one falls down here. Flash is pushing it back. Flash is pushing it back. He might have finally made this work. More Colossus down. They're all dead. They're all dead. But Flash's army is too. Yes, it certainly is. But you know what? At least he killed all those probes that got pulled down during that fight. Yeah, it's this actually equal work is lost. Yeah, it's it's pretty close. 34 SCVs against 45 probes, and he does have mules. But this is still a scary army that Hero is bearing down on Flash with. Yeah, he is, but the the army only has one Colossus in it, and it's mostly Stalkers and Zealots. It will, however, be plus two Stalkers and Zealots very, very shortly here. So Flash has really got to step it up in terms of the macro. He needs to reinforce and make that defender's advantage count. Well, he is rallying out as quickly as he possibly can. So has a couple of medevacs, making some Vikings also. Uh, definitely needs those Vikings to knock out the Colossus. He can win against Gateway units, but Colossus are a big issue here. Yep, the second one is now out. There's four Vikings, five Vikings versus... It's going to be six Vikings, actually, against two Colossus. That's not a bad number, especially with a decent amount of Marauders in here. And Flash is already pre-pulling the SCVs out. He is behind in terms of supply, though. Got to watch out for that. The Medivac healing the SCVs there to deflect, and the aggression is coming in. He has got to hold it. He is regretting salvaging those bunkers. There's no bunkers at the top of the ramp right here. The Vikings are out, though, and they're going to focus down the Mothership Core by the looks of it. The Stork is now focusing down those Vikings. One Colossus does fall. The Force fields are pretty good but the evacuation from flash a great evacuation indeed one of the colossus did go down but there's no more vikings he's still popping them out as quickly as he possibly can but is that going to be quick enough the bunkers Hero are done looking to attack again the bunkers are done i i i think flash can hold this i, I really do i don't think this army is actually big enough uh, but what it has done which is very important. Oh, wow. Blink into the main base. Really nice move here. It's going to force Flash, of course, to posture back. And he wants to use the Colossus, I think. But actually, this may have been a mistake from here. No, never mind. I'm sorry. It's a blink. Of course, he's not made a mistake. <laughs> but this third base right here. Flash is deploying a factory. I think you might even want to build wind mines in that middle line. This third base is up for the Protoss, right? And it's been denied for the Terran. That's what worries me here. Yeah, that is a really big issue. Even with just a few probes mining, it does make quite a difference in a situation like this where both players are hurt on economy. Yeah. He's trying to float his command center back down, but sees, no. uh-oh, the army is still here. This containment play by Hero is brilliant. It really is. There's going to be some ghosts with EMPs, although I'm very worried those ghosts might get picked off by Blinkstalkers. Hopefully, they will not be. It looks like they'll focus fight. Not happen. Wow, it's a lot of Blinkstalkers are going to die here. That was nice. That was pretty good, but Flash is going to do more work. Well, killing off three Blink Stalkers for a Viking, I guess that's a, a pretty good deal overall, but he needs to get that Viking count up still. We are up to three Colossus in this main army with another one walking down to meet him. Flash is, has salvaged the bunkers. He believes that he can break this container, maybe fight in the open field here. Thank God he's not pulling more. Oh, oh my God, he is! That's That's all of them! That's all of them. Oh, He's pulling He's the SCVs. The <laughs> he, he needs to. He thinks he needs to win right now. Oh my God! Please, please have the SCVs at the front. Flash, Flash is what? No, 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 no. He does not want to be there. The time warp. Flash, Flash, Flash. He needs to move back. This is a terrible place to fight. It certainly is with double force field and that time warp. So many of his units stuck behind, continuing oh to stim and run forward. He says now or never, but it might. It's going to be never, never because of this. Surely it's going to be never. The SCVs are at the back. Can he seriously break through? No, he cannot. This is not going to happen here for Flash. Maybe he did tilt. Maybe that is what happened. GG, ladies and gentlemen. And Hero, in a fantastic performance, is your Sandisk Shoutcraft Invitational Champion. That is it. Hero takes down Flash with a 4-2 to two score. Really well played. I'm just, I am in shock. Uh, you know, Flash with this many SCV pulls, a little bit sloppy there in that last engagement. But Hero really put it to him. He put him in a hard, hard spot. He had to make some tough calls. He made the one he thought was best. And it, but at the end of the day, it just wasn't enough. Hero is the champion. And well deserved. Very well deserved. I mean, think about the, the kind of caliber of play he had to even get through to do that. He had to get through the GSL champion Zest. And of course, he had to beat Flash, who like started off so strong. So strong. Like It looked like it could have been a 4-0, like based on those first two games. Like, Flash doesn't... I mean, there's no mistakes. Flash is just playing perfectly. But Hero comes back for four wins in a row. 
And it did seem in that last game like maybe Flash was a little bit on tilt. Like, that, that last SCV poll, mm. particularly, like, the engagement, yeah. it was actually horrible. It was really not very good at all. He he definitely did mess up there. And don't forget, he lost to Reap early on. That's yeah. not very normal for yeah. him. Uh, maybe he was getting a bit frustrated. That can happen, even to the best of us, uh, getting frustrated at StarCraft II. The best game in the world, but also at the same time, the most frustrating game in the world, as I'm yeah, sure that no you doubt. know, Total Biscuit. <laughs> no doubt. But congratulations to CJ Hero, who puts another championship.